Welcome to the next Share a Sip episode. We're here with Jen Bum. She is a food blogger and a cookbook author, and we're going to talk a little more about that while we sip on Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from Paso Robles. It's the big red mon monster. You've probably <laughs> seen me post about it. It's great. It is very good. All right, so cheers. Cheers. All right, now let's learn a little bit about Jen, okay. like how you started, what brought you into the food blogging. It's actually a funny story. Your sister, <laughs> probably like five years ago now, she she had always like, she would text me and ask me like, what are you making for dinner? What yeah. are you doing for dinner? And I tell her and then she was like, you should make it, or you should start a blog or yeah. Instagram. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to do that. And then she just kept like asking me and telling me and she's like, you make your food look so good. Da, da, da. So that's how it started with your yeah. sister. <laughs> and her handle is, um, pretend it's a donut. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Because <laughs> donuts are the best. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my sister is amazing. She's one of my biggest like motivators too. Yeah. So, yeah, she's awesome. All right. So, uh, now like, let's talk about the, like how it evolved. Like, well, we know how it started, but like, how yeah. You so I just started posting things on, um, on my Instagram and it was, it just kind of grew from there. Like I, um, it's all like healthy stuff. So like paleo, <laughs> clean eating and things like that. And like five years ago, that was like a new thing. Yeah. So everybody wanted to like kind of get into it. So yeah. I felt like I like got in, right. got in right at the right time. Um, and then Whole30, the people who own that company or, you know, the mm -hmm. brand um, contacted me because they just randomly saw some of my posts and then, you know, I would do like the hashtags for yeah. them and stuff like that. And so it went from there. And then um, I started like guest blogging on their okay. Instagram. So it kind of, it grew from there. And then they asked me to be in their cookbook. Okay. So I have a couple of recipes in their first cookbook. And then last, no, two years ago, um, a publicist reached out to me and asked me to make another cookbook. Awesome. So I did. <laughs> and it's all your recipes? It's all my recipes, yeah. Okay. This is her cookbook. And where can you buy it? You can buy it wherever books are sold. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I actually saw it at um, Santana Row. At the Amazon store? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I personally like Amazon to get your stuff a little bit better because you get the, like, it's good to have the reviews and yeah. stuff like that since 99% of people do shop at Amazon through Amazon. But, yeah. yeah, you can get it anywhere. And how many recipes? 60 recipes and they're all done on a sheet pan so it's like easy cleanup okay minimal like work to do um which is nice for me because i have a big family too oh, yeah. she is a mom out of five, <laughs> five, five yeah five. yeah so i have a big family too so like we don't want to do a bunch of dishes yeah so yeah that. this is like <laughs> something we can is it a lot of ingredients or is it pretty? not a lot of ingredients a couple of them do like yeah. the dessert section obviously has a little bit more because you have to use like different flowers mm -hmm. and stuff like that but for the most part it's like super basic and then all of the um recipes you can get the stuff at any grocery store okay. so, so it's, easy. it's very very easy to get the stuff okay. um there and then have you always been like a cook like growing up did you like cooking my grandfather was a great cook okay like awesome he um so yeah we kind of grew up with him my mom okay. and dad both like to cook but okay. it was just kind of for fun yeah um nothing so it kind of was in the back of my head like oh yeah cooking yeah always something I loved to do but I had I didn't even go to school I went to school for architecture <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't even go to like culinary anything yeah. like that um so okay baking or cooking cooking yeah yeah I'm not a baker my problem with baking is that I eat all the dough and the batter <laughs> before you <laughs> before I cook it and so that's like the main issue but um, I'm not like a huge dessert person in okay. general um, I like more savory all right things. out of that what is your favorite recipe to make for yourself for myself um, probably 
the Brussels sprouts with okay. like a chili vinaigrette on okay. top of it. That's really good. And then I really like the breakfast taquitos. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, they're all good. Every time I make, uh, I mean, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but like every but time I, I yeah. <laughs> but every time I like make one, I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. This was really good. I forgot how good this was yeah. and stuff like well, that. Well, that like helps you keep going, right? And stuff like that. Right. What's your fa family's favorite recipe? The sheet pan pancakes. Okay. So you just put like the the batter instead of like standing you know, over the oven, like or yeah. the stove all you know half the day or whatever, making round pancakes. You just put it in the sheet pan and it cooks in eight minutes. Okay. And do your kids eat most of your recipes? They eat all the recipes. Okay. And they're what's the age limit? Or uh, my oldest is 13 and my youngest is six. Okay, so right. pleases everyone. Yeah, please and your husband? husband? My husband loves them. <laughs> That's or awesome. at least he's really nice and he doesn't <laughs> tell me <laughs> that he hates it. <laughs> Such good support. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so you also sponsored by Traeger, mm -hmm. right? Okay, right, tell us a little about, about that. So I work with Traeger um, and it is so much fun. I'm big into smoking and grilling, barbecuing, camping, like yeah. all that stuff. I've always been into that. So um, Traeger reached out to me and asked if I wanted to work with them. And so I've been working with them. Have you created like recipes, more recipes? I've done some recipes um, for them. Um, and yeah, it's been really good. I hope to do a cookbook. Yeah. Like that's like, Trigger involved or something. That's like that. cool. But we'll a girl like a girl. Yeah, that's right. Look at her. She's she does it all. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and, and by the way, she's actually the creator of Dead Face. That's right. I, that. I am. She, she did I start that hashtag. I, did. I don't know when it was when I was in high school. Yeah, and <laughs> I think I still have the original, original picture. Yeah, a lot of the pictures are on private, but yeah, there used to be a lot of people just. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, I yeah. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what do you have planned for the future with all your like food blogging and like where can people find you? Like you have a website, right? Um, I have a website, pretendedtodonut.com. Okay. And Instagram. And Instagram, same thing. Um, usually if you just type in pretend, um, it should pop up okay, pretty cool. much right yeah. away. Um, my cookbooks, um, yeah. Do you ever do tutorials? I actually, somebody just emailed me um, wanting to do like, put on like culinary classes, like okay. online culinary classes. That's super fun. So might do something like that okay. um, in the near future. Um, I'd love to do like in person, yeah. like, like the, you know those like date nights where you can like post oh, a couple cook. things yeah. and you like cook and like eat the stuff yeah. or whatever. Like something like that, or even like a, even if like a group of friends or yeah. whatever and have something. That's cool. Do something like that. Because you really have to get her personality. It's not just her amazing food. Like her personality, you'll be dying laughing the whole time. No, we're like the same. We are. <laughs> <laughs> we're probably like sisters. That's probably. You know it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she actually made some brownies. Let's yeah. talk about it. I'll show them. Let me get up. All right. Talk about what's in them. Um, I eat them. They are there's like cocoa powder. Um, is it good with the yeah, wine? It's really good. Oh no, I should probably try the wine too. Oh yeah. They're big, flavorful, both of them. So it it does pair well. Yeah. Um, there's avocado in here. Okay. So. I guess that's kind of where you're, you use almond flour instead of no, like no. the regular gluten filled stuff. Um, coconut sugar instead of regular sugars. Okay. Um, yeah, I need a. They taste like, just like brown. Like, they taste you know, like legit. I wouldn't say they were, I wouldn't know they were healthy. They're yeah, very they're gooey. Like gooey inside, but not too gooey. Yeah, like my tummy's gonna hurt gooey. But yeah, yeah. they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your favorite dessert? I do like, there's a, a peach like crumble in there. Oh, okay. that's probably my favorite one. Okay. That's very, it's really good. That's awesome. Uh, so when you got big, what was your reaction? Like, cause you know, it didn't start out like I'm going to make a cookbook one right. day. Right. It was, um, 
it's still a little weird. Uh -huh. And I went to the gym this morning and my like instructor, my coach or whatever, he was talking about it. He's like, I can't believe like I know you, <laughs> you know, like it was, and it's just a weird thing to me because I'm not like, I don't know. It's, it's, so, awesome, it's, well. <laughs> it's, it's just weird. It's weird. Yeah, have you someone noticed you on the streets? People notice me on the streets. <laughs> and really funny, one time, I was actually at, you know, my food blog is all about, like, healthy, mm -hmm. healthy living for the most part. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, like, I eat completely healthy, because I don't. Yeah. Um, here we are having wine, <laughs> right? Balance. 80-20. Um, <laughs> right? But, so one time I was in Monterey at Alvarado. Okay. at the brewery mm -hmm. and I was at, in the front but I was grabbing glasses for or things of beer for like oh. that's my phone okay. um I was grabbing a bunch of beer for like you know to bring back to everybody and you know I was like oh man like this, <laughs> like this. and somebody goes are you Jen and I was like yes <laughs> and she's like from pretend it's a donut and I was like yes <laughs> and she's like oh my and here I am, like, healthy food blogger, and I have, like, all these beers, and I was like, oh. It was pretty funny. I'm but, not a fake, I swear. Right? Um, but, yeah, just really random. Um, a lot of people don't want to come up to me, which is... Yeah, but intimidating. I don't feel I like I mean, you're beautiful, so maybe not. Um, but, like, people will message me afterwards, and they're like, oh, okay. I saw you. I saw you do this, yeah. or you know, you were there, and I'm like, I wanted to say hi, but I didn't want to say hi. It's like, no, you totally, yeah, totally say hi. She's like I a real time celebrity in the Bay Area. I am. <laughs> you gotta look her up though, because and make these brownies, because I'm in love. No, they're really good. They are. All right. Do you think you paired the cab well with the brownies? Because I, I didn't really tell her what wine we we're gonna have. No, I just told her it's red. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we did. I yeah. think we nailed it. I know. It tastes really good. It's not overpowering for either mm -hmm. one. Like, this is like a... It's big and bold, but not like... But it's so smooth, yeah. and it just like, with that chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think about the the wine? I think it's fantastic. Do you go to Paso Robles? Like, do you... Every once in a while. I used to live in San Luis Obispo. Okay. Um, so I know people down there and stuff yeah. like that. So we'll, we'll pass through. I haven't gone in obviously a really long time, Yeah. but, um, yeah. And then, because they're so, it's just like a beautiful place with like tons of affordable wineries mm -hmm. and it's booming a lot. Like I see Paso Robles more than a lot of places yes. now. Plus you're right by the coast. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a win-win. Exactly. It's great wine, win -win. great people. And they have like fan, like it's not like, I don't know, like Livermore, is my heart, <laughs> it's like laid back, and that's what I love. Like, and Pastor Robles has that, but it also has like fancier kind of look yeah. to it. So it's like in between. I, like, yeah, there's something there's something special about like that Central Coast like area. Yeah, you're kind of close to like the Santa Barbara, like you said, you're close to the ocean. Yeah, and you've got just like it's a different vibe. Yeah, you kind of have everything like California has to offer in that one area yes. because or like in the vicinity because it's like farmland vineyards mm -hmm. beaches you know so you get it all in one spot and you don't have to you know break the bank right yeah so yeah i highly this is one of my favorite cabs i believe it's only like 30 or under 30 dollars that's awesome check that's yeah really good what else would you pair in your cookbook with it um i would probably pair gosh i gotta look <laughs> um uh, the balsamic tri-tip would okay. be good with this. I was like, that looks good. Um, and then I have like, I'm kind of, it would be it would be kind of interesting. So I have this recipe. It's a chili lime salmon. Oh, can you see it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. There we that go. It's really good. Um, it's a chili lime salmon with a mango relish Ooh, so I you got the go. sweet and you got the heat and then yeah. i think with this the the flavors of this like i feel like it would kind like of balance like it. balance it yeah um probably those two yeah those two sound really good but i'm so hungry now <laughs> um this pesto chicken with cauliflower okay yeah the pesto the heavy like 
heavier yeah. than I saw. Yeah. So all right. So what is your like your advice to and not just food bloggers, but bloggers in general, like that want to grow or like want to do something more with their page? You got to keep you got to just keep going at it. Yeah. Even if you have if you're looking at your like numbers or whatever, I hate looking at my numbers because it's it can be depressing yeah. for anybody, for someone who has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers. Yeah. Um, so I don't really like to look at the numbers, but just keep doing it. Yeah. Like, Cause like I said, even if you have, you say, you see somebody and it's like, oh, five people saw my thing. Like, yeah. It's like, okay, well, what do I need to do to change it? Mm -hmm. Or do I keep just doing this? And eventually people will like go putting your name out there. Like when I started, Instagram was completely different because I yeah. do most of my marketing through Instagram. Okay. Um, and most, and it was a lot different. So I could comment on another food blogger uh -huh. that I followed yeah. and I could be like, wow, your food looks awesome. Yeah. Whatever. And they would either follow me back or somebody looking through the comments would, would see that and be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to check her stuff yeah. out and follow. It's kind of why I did like a catchier name yeah. um, to put it like, like yeah. for people to be like, who's that? that, you know? So I think that if you're going to start something up, you need to come up with a catchy name yeah. or some sort of thing. People keep saying, no, use your, your real yeah. name, use your real name. And I personally don't think that works. Do you even have your real name on your profile? I think it just says Jen. Okay. <laughs> um, I think just, I think making sure your personality comes yeah, through. Like sure. I always, when I post a picture, you know, it's, oh, I try to be clever. <laughs> like try to be funny in some yeah. way or some, like something catchy that yeah. would make somebody laugh or that will make somebody be like, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I just keep doing it. Yeah. Cause it is a lot of work. It is a it's lot of work. It's yeah. a lot of work. And, um, You'll have arguments with your spouse or whatever about like the time spent on it but it's like okay but if i miss a couple of days yeah I, my stuff is going to disappear right now with like instagram yeah if you don't post like one day it's like bye <laughs> see you later yeah so, right so a lot of times what i'll do like if i go to a restaurant or something mm -hmm. and i want to like post yeah post food about it or post about it yeah. is all like I'll tell people like, oh, hey, I'm going to yeah. this restaurant and then I'll take pictures and then like the next day I'll like show everything. That way when I'm, when I'm at the restaurant, all I'm doing is taking a photo and yeah. I'm not You're like present. And yeah. I'm more present with, um, with that sort of thing. But with food, it's, it's easy to kind of do that. Yeah. Um, so did, yeah. did you have a food blogger inspiration inspiration? No, no, no. Because it was like I said, it was like fresh and new. There yeah. weren't a lot of people. So pretty much when I started, um, some of my other food blogger friends were starting at the same time. Okay. So we just kind of met through, you know, like commenting yeah. on each other's things. You'll you'll check out a hashtag, and yeah. you'll see like those people constantly like coming up. And so yeah. then you like form friendships, obviously, yeah. with like other. Instagram a lot of people. my friends now are through Instagram. Yeah, I have I have quite a. It's so funny yeah. how it works. And like when you first meet them, it's like blind dating in a way. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's weird. And it's weird because usually I meet them for a glass of wine. Yeah. So I'm like. <laughs> So I'm the one deep. sitting in the corner <laughs> with your rose on the table. I'm the one with the rose. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, so if you can't online date because you have someone, just go on Instagram. I'm just kidding. That's right. Yeah. Um, it totally is like blind dating. When you it like, is. It's when like you first meet meet up. It's like okay. I remember. So my first blogger event, it was like we did a book club. So mm -hmm. we were like, and then we meet at wine bars. And there's like 12 of them and they already met before because I missed the first one But when I went and it was the weirdest thing ever. I was like, it's like pictures coming to life yeah. I'm like, that's just weird it is. It's <laughs> So I like had to like step back for a second. I'm like and now I mean, it's a little more normal But yeah, you're like, uh, you are you I definitely get there's been like events that I've gone to like yeah. food events 
and um, I definitely still get like a little bit nervous yeah. like, with that sort of stuff or people like coming up to me then because they know I'm going to be there, you know? Yeah, so yeah. it's like planned, but it's like, oh my gosh, like I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, being vlogger celebrity life. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It is. Do you want more wine? Sure. I'll have a little more. We'll have a little more. All right. Anything you want to mention? or like you know plans or anything before we end no no i love what you're doing i love this like this is awesome it's like my favorite thing to do so yeah she had like asked me i'm gonna do that i don't care we're classy <laughs> we're in classy yeah that's right um <laughs> i'm starting to say hello classy because i'm from california uh, um, I say bougie a lot. Is that a California thing to say? I, bougie? Maybe. I don't know. I started saying it because I'm like, I, I like to say I'm bougie, but I'm not, but I'm really bougie. Yeah. Right. And I, it's like, I'm a laid back, like I'll go camping like you, Yeah. you know, like, but I'm freaking bougie. Yeah. Right. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with I that. I did something the other day and I was like, wow, this is like the most bougie thing ever. Yeah. And I, I learned just today that I say hello a lot. I'm like, well, I guess that's the California. Yeah. So, um, have you ever done like the, the wine stomping? No. So that is on my the list. Um, I wanted to do it last, but obviously with COVID right. it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, cause a lot of wineries in Napa will have that event, but yeah, it'll be fun. That'd be so fun. Yeah. I've done, uh, I made my own blend. Ooh. That was a fun class. And then I do random like classes. But making your own blend was really fun because you have all like the chemistry like things and yeah. like, you get to taste it while you're doing it. It's educational, but it's like really fun. Yeah, I highly recommend it. I know some Wente offers it in Livermore, and then I know other places like I've seen it in Walla Walla. And they still do it right now, even with, like, uh, well, COVID when stuff. I went, it was four people. Like it wasn't okay. a big class in general. So now with the restrictions kind of opening up, mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll offer it. But I, I haven't checked. That would be fun. That'd yeah, be it's definitely a fun. My husband would like be into because he's all science. Yeah, well, it's like cool. You get to like. I went with Joey, my brother. Mm -hmm. He's a chemistry teacher. And I'm like, look. He's like, you're supposed to look at it like level, like pointing out all the things I'm doing. <laughs> you're wrong. like looking at it like I'm this, like, and he's like this. <laughs> yeah. No. No. He's like, he made me fix my picture because I look like a blonde. <laughs> yeah. No hard feelings. Anyways, usually we review this wine at the end, but I really wanted to pair it with the, or like talk about it when we're eating brownies. So I'll just bring it up and show you. But yes, these are like some of my favorite guys from Paso Robles. So, and they always have like beautiful artwork. So I'm a label person. I am too. If I saw this, I would totally buy it. Yeah, sorry for not knowing what it tastes like. But yeah, they're super fun. They're like brothers. They're, they're awesome. I did a share a sip. So if you want to check them out, you can. Um, but yes, thanks for joining. Thank you for and having thanks for me. Thanks for making brownies. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, cheers. Cheers.